事情发生在美国的佛罗里达州，警察在公路上巡逻，发现前方有辆彩色皮卡，左前大灯坏了，右后尾灯坏了，车牌灯坏了，剩下的好灯不多了。于是警察对这辆皮卡进行了拦停。司机是一位脾气火爆的大爷，名叫罗伯特。警察向他索要驾照、登记证和保险证明，大爷无法提供登记证和保险证明，说这辆车不是他自己的，而是他朋友的，他朋友也没有给过他这些文件。之后，警察回到巡逻车上，对车牌进行查询，发现这辆皮卡的注册已于二零一一年在德克萨斯州到期，没有保险。Hey Robert, Robert, yes. Um, do me a favor, just step out here. I'm just gonna have a conversation with you, okay? Am I under arrest? No, you're not under arrest. I'm not stepping out there. If I'm not under arrest, I don't need to step out of the vehicle. What do you want me stepping out of the vehicle for? Well, because I'm gonna tow the car because it hasn't been registered in ten years. So I'm trying to be Mom, civil with you and asking you to tow, step out, so I can talk to you, it. and then we can to try to get you a ride. So I'm asking you to step out of the car. They want they want me to step out of the vehicle so they can impound the vehicle, so they can make money. Yeah. 警察让大爷下车，说要派拖车把大爷的皮卡拖走。大爷瞬间就急了眼，直接现场拨打九幺幺报警电话。这操作一般人还真干不出来。他在报警电话里说：“这里的警察为了赚钱，才要求把自己的车子拖走。This car has not been registered in ten years, sir. You have no registration for it and no insurance card. So I'm going to ask you one more time to step out of the car. If I don't step out of the car, there's going to be help paid on this one. I've been very nice with you. You've been nothing been but attitudey since with me since I pulled you over. You ruined my night. Step out of the car. How am I supposed to? I'm supposed to like sure, this. You're going to tow my truck away. I'm supposed to be okay with it. Make sure it. you have every. Like, oh, hey, let's be best friends. I don't need you to be my best friend. Trust well, then me. Then you expect me to be a good mood? Register this, your you're car. You're ruining my night. Register your car. And you're not cuffing me. You're not, you're not under arrest. You're not under arrest. Come over here. As you tow my truck away. Come over here. I'm not putting you in the car. 看到大爷不肯配合，另一位女警已经掏出电击枪，随时准备应对大爷的不理智行为。I'm just asking you to step off the road. You know it. Get my keys out. All right. This is. You girls ain't got nothing better to do. And harass people that are really breaking the law. Can you get off the road, sir? I'm not breaking any goddamn law. 听说自己的车子也要被拖走，大爷对着警察一顿痛骂。此时的警察还是挺克制的，并没有对他做什么。但是大爷一再狡辩，说车子是在德克萨斯州注册的，在佛罗里达州是查不到的。其实警察是可以查到的。同时，大爷也放下狠话，今天谁也别想把车子拖走。他还说可以把车子停放在旁边的停车场，然后自己开拖车过来拖走，这样可以省钱。而警察非要派拖车过来，就会收他的钱，他可没有钱交拖车费。Let me pull in right there. Let me park it right there. Why do you got to tow it away? Why can't I park it right here? Why can't I tow it myself? No, you're gonna f- over. Why should I relax? Just take a deep breath. Fuck both of you. Okay. You're wrong for doing this to me. We're not wrong. I will pull it over there and leave it there, and I will come with my own tow truck. You don't tow it and store it and charge me for it. Okay. I want to drive my truck right there. I want to pull my truck off of this property and park it on private property now. Now. Watch me along the road. I want a supervisor out here. Guy. I want to be able to pull this truck and park it over there. I don't want to see you guys got to f*** in my pocketbook. Uh, drop care and uh, Taney Town Street. Is there any way to correct that right now? I need 
大爷依然坚持自己的立场，说警察派拖车就是在骗他的钱。今天谁也别想动他的车。他要求警察立刻把领导叫过来。不一会儿，警察派的拖车真的到了，看看大爷会作何反应。I don't know why you are so upset. Okay. If you're gonna. This is gonna cost me money. If you can listen to what I'm telling you, maybe you'll understand a little bit more. Oh, this is gonna more. cost me money, bitch. Okay. You're gonna store my car. Listen to me. They're gonna charge me to do this, you need and then to they're relax gonna charge yourself. me to store it in a yard. You need to relax. It's gonna cost me at least five hundred dollars for this. Listen, if you're not gonna listen to what I have to say, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I'm asking you to be nice to me. I am I being nice to you. I will pull it off the road. This truck has not been registered or renewed in 10 years. What well, would it hurt you it's if I pulled it off the road? It's not a vehicle. You can't show me any proof. No, you gotta do this to me. And you and you can't show me any proof of of, of insurance. Dude, why do I got to do this? It's an unregistered motor vehicle. You're messing with me. I didn't mess I'm with you. I'm not messing with you. You picked you a fight. I did. Headlight. You now pulled me light, on. No good and you, reason. You've got Their no light work. on your. No, they don't. I can turn them on right now. Both of them work. I need you to step over to the sidewalk, please. No way, dude. Nope. Like I said, I need you to step over to the side. I will please. stand right here. 大爷就站在车子前面，谁也别想动我的车。警察不敢动，拖车师傅更不敢动。直到后来，现场来了一位男警察。Well, I'm just telling you straight up. I've had issues with you guys, and you guys aren't my friends. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's not nice. Because if she was nice, she would just give me a warning to let me go or let me pull my truck into private property. But instead, she insists on having a tow truck tow my truck. Listen, man, I am not happy with this. I live far away, and I'm not prepared to pay salvage money for towing. These guys are not cool. These guys suck to deal with. Have you ever had your car towed away? I have not. They cost money. Yes, they do. And I, what you guys are trying to call, get, you want, you want my pocketbook? We don't. We then don't. let me put my truck over here, okay, well, and I will call AAA. Okay, well, I can tell you that's not going to happen. Why you? not? Because it's on a public roadway, and you had a criminal violation. Okay? I had a criminal, what's a criminal yes, violation? A criminal what, violation. what is that? I'm sure she's towing your car for a reason. What is a criminal violation? It has been registered in 10 years. 说了一堆废话，大爷还是不让警察拖车。非要自己把车子开进旁边的停车场，然后自己开拖车过来拖走。警察的立场也很坚定，说这辆车已经不能上路了。大爷说：“我可以推着走呀。”警察又说：“那也不行，如果我们走了，你又会开车；如果出了车祸，我们警察会丢掉工作的。”大爷说：“你们警察根本不在乎我这种穷人，我的生活本来就糟透了，现在你们还要来骗我的钱，我才不干呢！而且你们派的拖车贵得要死，你们都是骗子。”最后，大爷的车还是被拖走了。警察让他签署传票，大爷气得再次拨打九幺幺。说警察强迫他签署什么东西，否则就会被逮捕。在报警电话里，大爷还说，警察问他车里有没有毒品，问他有没有嗑药。警察说这是正常的询问，而大爷却说这就是骚扰。警察忍无可忍，直接将大爷逮捕了。大爷被指控四项罪名：滥用九幺幺、车子没有保险、非暴力抵抗警察执法、拒绝接受和签署传票。法庭给他指定了一名公社辩护人，并且很快达成了协议。
滥用解决药和抵抗执法是毋庸置疑的。另外，他也承认了车子没有保险。至于拒绝接受和签署传票的问题，法官暂未判决，也许就这样不再追究了。但是如果他再惹出麻烦，那就不好说了。最终，大爷只需要支付三百五十三美元的罚款以及拖车费和扣押费就可以了。从视频中我们可以看出大爷的几个问题：首先，有好几次大爷对着警察破口大骂。其实，从另外一个角度来讲，他这是在抵抗执法，这种做法很危险。幸好几位警察的脾气比较好，否则很容易将事态升级，从而造成不必要的后果。其次，大爷想自己开拖车过来拖，这听上去挺合理的，但事实上是行不通的。根据美国联邦法律，开拖车需要持有相关的商业驾驶执照，警察是不会允许你自己开拖车的。况且，如果真的发生了车祸，警察的工作也不用干了。另外，还有一个乱打九幺幺的问题，在美国，除非是真正的紧急情况，否则出于任何其他目的拨打九幺幺，都可能导致刑事处罚。各个州对乱打九幺幺的处罚不同，在佛罗里达州，乱打九幺幺被归类为一级轻罪。前四次乱打九幺幺，根据实际情况不同，最高可判处一年监禁和最高一千美元的罚款。所以说，大爷被判的还是比较轻的。如果一个人第五次乱打九幺幺，那么将被提升至三级重罪，可判处最高五年监禁和最高五千美元的罚款。今天的这个事件，虽然大爷的脾气比较暴躁，还好没有发生伤亡的意外情况。